Alright, got a lot of money for that. Let's see okay, the Mama ending. Kuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no, I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. Alright. Wood, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Alright. <laughs> Is always oh, I love this cutscene so much. It's so Yes, yes, yes! They even have dead people as well as the votes. Why not? Okay, so that's guilt. So she's guilty. Whoop did he do? What? It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you are totally correct. The black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was <laughs> Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Takeo Kodya, Taiko Yasuhiro. Ah, God, I'm gonna not oh, like that name. Hi, Lost. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Ifumi's impeppitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So, he really did approach Ifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would be happily to agree to commit murder. I'm sure he re she relied on her specialty, lying. <laughs> my specialty? Don't make me laugh. I oh wait, no, she doesn't have to ask anymore. <clears throat> I didn't have to lie to him to agree. So then. Then, did you use... You know. I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Ifumi to act as my accomplice, mm -hmm. I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Ifumi and Taka were both super into. Does she mean she's talking about alter ego? Say what? What? What, what, what are you talking Just about? Don't interrupt, we're in the middle of a very important conversation here. I'm totally out of the loop as usual. How sad! In other words... Then, you're the one that stole it. Indeed. That's right. I see. And... You use it to drag Ifumi into the plan you'd come up with? <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Ifumi a little visit. Um... Oh, um, what are you doing here? Actually... I was hoping I could actually talk to you, alone. It was about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. Yeah. What? So then... And I had proof. Would you like to see? As it turns out, I used... I found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I showed it to Ifumi, of course. Damnation! Gurn, so it was him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us get close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? What? For me. Please forgive me. He he slated me. Oh. Um, he, he did. For me. He came to my room last night unannounced, and then it was hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? What? <gasps> and he he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I... I had no choice. Damnation. That's a crime! An absolute crime! He... but... I mean... I know he got a little crazy, but... Say, I never imagined he would go that far! <laughs> it... it was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life! I'm going to kill him! I'm going to fucking kill him! Oh shit, Ifumi! Holy shit! That's unfortunate. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Mm -hmm. Huh? Actually... Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? A escape? What do you mean? <sighs> Taka is going to try to kill you. What? what? Indeed. And also... And also, he can keep her to herself. <laughs> That's bastard! Bastard, 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 bastard! 
can we allow him to continue with this bar barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not! How could I? She, she. I swear, I will save her. Okay, thanks. Uh, my voice is starting to wear out, anyways. Actually. Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I have come up with a plan. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Ifumi agreed without a second thought. <laughs> the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um... You disgust me! I see. I have another question for you. What was strange? What was the strange costume with Fumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, that was a really pain in the butt too. Oh fuck, right, no accent, sorry. All I asked him to do was make something to hide in the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. What? So, why did you decide to make me the suspect? Mm. Because you're stupid. <laughs> huh? That's it? Let's see. And it that, in that regard, I made the right choice, so I'm glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Life must be... must have been tough on your parents, though. <sighs> I feel like I could cry. But when you were explaining your plan to Ifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What was... what she's asking is, what was Ifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had to actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the very verge of death, but he could just barely held on. Mm. And he really believed that? Well, of course. That wasn't all that there was, was to it. As I explained it to Ifumi, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Ifumi would have an alibi, so no one could doubt him. I told him that he and he believed it. Hmm. It all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just made them lie to level the opponent. In fact, Ifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So in the end. So you had planned to kill him all along. <laughs> but of course, there would only have been one point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. <laughs> How could a human life mean so little to you? Well. That is a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! Now you sound like Byakia! I wonder about that. No, he derived his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, you are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the 10 million dollars Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but there's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life had begun here, my only thought about has been escape. But, but, but all along you've been saying how we had to accept our lives here. You little bitch. Obviously that was a lie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And did you want to know why, huh? Fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me. It was all for that dream. And what was that dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful. To live in a European castle. Okay. A uh, uh, castle? Alright. <laughs> and to gather handsome men for all of the world to serve as my butlers slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my knee. <laughs> God damn it, you lolita fuck. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfect aesthetic world of dis decadence. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's where, that's what life is all about. Okay. <sighs> Combined with my own winning, Monokuma $10 million would have made that dream a reality. 
I got right to the edge, but there is nothing to be done. unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dreams to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for oh. it? Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how could you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why are you? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives that unconsciousness. Deceives the unconsciousness, and that's why you're not scared. Yes, indeed. That's right. I fear not. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had one, if I had a choice, then Isn't it wonderful? I think it would be like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey, you're just gonna get executed. You just get executed again. <laughs> 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 All right, Celeste. Let's see your fucking execution. She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. You all done? Okay, let's get rolling. Blank and stubborn in peace. It must pay for the price. Now then. Oh wait, you're a gross second. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Of all the punishments I've seen so far, they've been really radically fucking insane and just hilarious. So, if there's anything about this case that can at least redeem it, it's the execution. So let's see that. And everything we've got! It's punishment time! I guess okay. Hold on to what? This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually... It's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. All right. Okay, I'm excited. What the fuck is this? Game over. Celeste has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. I like how she's dragging her by the hair as well. Okay. God, that creepy smile. Hey, at least she gets to die in her own castle that she wants to live in, right? Except she's probably gonna get that executed somehow. Whoa. Alright. The burning of the Versailles Witch. Oh! Shit! Oh, well, so much for that Oscar shot. Oh, well. God, this is like all of a sudden the fucking. What's it called again? The Witch's Trial, Salem Witch. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. God, this is gonna be slow and painful too. Poor Celeste. Boy, no, don't say poor Celeste. She's a murderer. There's a very captivating audience, at least. We get to at least see like that last glimmering of like eyes stuttering or something. Oh my God, this really is a. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, what what? What the fuck's a fire alarm doing in there? What the fuck? Is it gonna crash into our too? Well, that's a uh, interesting twist on the Salem witch trials or witch trial or whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's one way to put out a fire, I guess. Use the fucking truck rather than water. Um. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fucking hilarious, at least, I gotta say. I don't think anything beats the... The roller coaster ride that Mono had to un endure, but... <laughs> that was pretty damn funny, I have to say. I don't think any- Honestly, I don't think anything could beat that, honestly. <laughs> Whatever, the third execution is over. That made up for this, inter this terrible chapter, at least, so that's good. <laughs> ah, Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friends. So I can't pity her, but I almost can't deny that at one point, I consider her a friend too. And for him to just come along and... Isn't it just awful? 
someone could have cut free from their regrets from the outside world, and some more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young! You need to place more values than your other lives do? do. Jeez. And here I thought you guys are gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of here! What do I care about home? I'll just throw it down the trash if you let me out of here! Bad. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but the reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna keep us going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyways, Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? So, uh, what's the deal with that? Well, what? Huh? What's the matter? So then. I'll answer your questions if you answer mine. You. What did you, What did you do? What did you do to me? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Who? What? Oh man! Oh jeez! Oh man! Oh jeez! What do you mean? What do I? Oh no! I have no idea! I don't know anything about it! Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I go got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go enjoy your school life. If you get lovely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven was left. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko. Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's the key that Celeste so... gave you? Most likely, it's the key to one of our dressing room lockers. Huh? Huh? Then that means... Hm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey! I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we better go check. Indeed. Good idea. End of chapter, or is this in a... Okay. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us hey. and said, I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I meant, why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. <laughs> Whatever, do what you want. Thank you, well, Byakuya. Then, it's up to you now. Yo! I'm going to hide. Okay. Huh? So, Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go t together. <laughs> Why is that, Aoi? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are totally pushovers when you come to a little backbone. I saw you blushing a little bit. Don't ask me you want the D as well. I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Y yeah. So then. We need to get to that locker. Kyoko looked at the ca key castle and gave it to the locker that unlocked. Then, as the locker swung open, we saw... You're really cool. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> It's safe, thank goodness. I never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a little longer. <laughs> so, now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Since we had this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me. What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted me to come with you? With me here? Yeah. Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't... Need to know? That just makes things even more worried. What? Worried? Like, what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and you didn't even see- I did, We didn't even see you again! Without warning, without explanation? 
when you do that, Indeed. it is only natural that you think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I, I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I wanted you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. Makoto, don't get this any ideas about murdering her and getting away with her scot free, right? <laughs> um, I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then That's fine. Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I was disappear I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see. What I heard from Kyoko then was whatever it is, it's Fuck it, we're continuing right now. Mind, we're not taking a break. I think that's fine for now. Well, frankly, it's kind of hard. It kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. And are we gonna be in it, or is this necessary for the next chapter? I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own eyes. So I waited for nighttime to come, and when it did, I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or a monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way back, way in the back, she said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Okay. Oh shit, wait, hold on. Where am I going? <laughs> This is the boy's bathroom. Wait, what? What Kyo told me about, I have to see for myself. Oh, okay. Storage closet. Where the fuck is that? It's just a normal storage closet as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? I guess the chapter's not done after all. She said it was way back in the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly... As if I were being yanked in. Gachunk! At the same time as I heard the sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. This looks interesting. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door. I made my way through the other side, just like Kyoko has said. It seems like a very obvious hindsight, isn't it? A blind side. Correct. In the boys' bathroom, the second floor, there's a storage. Yes, thanks for the flashback that we just flashbacked over to. Okay, secret room. What the fuck is this all about? So this is the secret room. What's in here? All right. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. There's a bunch of files and what looks like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope's Peak Academy Student Registry? This is the only thing in here that's not covered in dust. Has someone been looking through it recently? I slipped my file into my hand, but before I had a chance to take a leap look in it, a slip of paper fell on my file and I turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave? That's kind of weird. I understand if it's like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. Those two, those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I, I. Oh shit. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. A strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth. And then... Darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. <laughs> Ow. Apparently something hit me. I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. But on the other hand, everything's gone. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone. It's all gone! The yearbooks, the student registry, and... The 
note that had been falling onto the floor. It's all gone. What does this mean? My brain refused to do any more work. This intense pain in my head began to spread across the entire body. For now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Definitely. <laughs> it's like, what, midnight or something? My body was heavy in pain. My mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. Yeah. The farther I walk, the more I feel. Things are getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Huh? As far as from the vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but I, it's undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym? As I desperately hauled my shaky frame forward to the gym, the sound gets stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here? In the gym? I'm a little bit afraid to go through. God damn, maybe I should have taken a break, actually. Fuck it, we'll take a break now, and we'll be right back, and I am officially late in class. Thanks, Danganronpa. We'll see you soon in the next episode. Alright, it's just only one day. I'll, I'll be fine, I think. It's digital media. I already know how to edit a video, so it doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. Fuck. Wrong button. Okay. And if this really was, like, a very short segment, then, uh, oh, well, I guess. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door of Jim. The sound coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much. Kacha, bakyu, hai gai kya hia paching, bakya da da dun sha 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 sha. The fuck? For me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be? The mastermind spy is... Well, we found that answer. It's only one minute. Yeah, this could have been part of the other segment as well. Oh well, the end. Next generation legend, blah blah blah. And there were seven left. Holy shit, it looks like we're close to the end, but... God, how long until we got? You see the Super Robo Justice present! Yay! Alright, yeah, let's save the game. And, uh... I guess this is the end for the recording session right now, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the future of my Let's Plays. This is Basinger, signing out.